<laughs> so let's hang around here and enjoy the space. It's a beautiful and uh, Jen Jen named after Jennifer Aniston. Well, there are a few cat museums in the world, but I believe the Lion City Kitty, the Cat Museum of Singapore, is the very first museum with live animals. And I didn't really want to just have a museum where people come to see art and craft. I really wanted people to understand that there was an inspiration behind the art. And the inspiration is really the beautiful animals. Uh, Lion City Kitty is a term we coined for the local kitty cats that live right here in Singapore. and your cat is uh, more or less houseproof. Just to get everything ready, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure that it's uh, cat proof. Everything okay. should be okay. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we have changed the perspectives of some people. Um, previously, they may have thought that it would be a better idea to have exotic cats. You know, they are more exclusive and expensive um, as opposed to local cats. And also, people also realize how easy it is to take care of a cat. Hey, hi. Is this the correct way to carry? <laughs> it works. Yeah, it's very different from the cat cafe that we have around because it's a non-profit organization. It's more about educating the people, teaching them how um, local kitties are and how not to, you know, just buy. You can adopt to save a life and adopt, yeah, instead of buying. Say hello to the camera. I was still a little bit terrified of their claws, <laughs> but eventually I saw what eventually became my first cat, and I named him Brad Pitt. And uh, I completely fell in love with him. He was adorable, he was gentle, he was sweet, and extremely loving as well. And the second they start to purr, you know, in your arms, you really start to bond with the animal. And uh, since then, I'm a complete convert. I still love dogs, but cats are really my thing. They leave the museum with a whole different feeling of towards the animal. And I even had a little girl who walked out of the museum proudly declaring, I'm no longer afraid of cats. And she strolled all the way out in the museum <laughs> saying, I'm not afraid of cats anymore. <laughs> so that was really encouraging. Oh, oh. Oh. 